Hi everyone, and welcome to another Xcode tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to make a timer in Swift. So to get started, I'm going to open up Xcode and create a new Xcode project. It's going to be a single view application, and I'm going to call it Stopwatch. This will be Swift and iPhone, and I'm just going to save it on the desktop. And to get started, I'm going to go to main.storyboard, deselect use size classes, and I'm going to drag on a label onto the screen. Just going to say zero for now, and we will make it pretty wide. And I'm going to right align it and make it much larger. And the auto streak, I'm going to select minimum font size and I'm just going to say 9. The next thing I'm going to do is put on a button. It's going to say start. And, and I'm going to put this in the middle. And I'm also going to have a button that says reset. that and then I'm going to open the assistant editor and make the connections for our code. This is going to be display. This will be start button. Um, or timing button. will be an action for a reset. This will have another action. This will have an action for the start stop. And then I'm going to close the assistant editor and go to the control that slipped. I'm going to make some room here for our code. I'm going to create a variable called timer and it's going to be an ns timer. I'm going to set it equal to ns timer. And I'm the ns timer. And I'm going to create another variable called is running. And it's going to be bool. I'm going to set it equal to false. And I'm going to say if is running equals false, then I'm going to say <coughs> timing button dot set title, and the title will be start for state UI control. It's going to be. UI control state um, normal or UI control state dot normal like that and then I'm gonna say is running equals true. And I'm going to set the timer equals ns timer dot schedule timer with time interval and it's going to be 0 0.01 target is self selector is selector selector parentheses and I'm going to create a function here for our selector to run the timer. So it's I'm gonna say func update time it's going to be update time then the user info is nil and repeats is true and 
this is the wrong action. And I'm going to say else. And if, if that means that if running is true, then we're going to say timing button dot set title. And that's going to be stop. This will be start and UI control state dot normal. Is running equals false and timer. dot invalidate which is going to stop the timer and and reset on I'm gonna put actually I have to create another variable called time time um, display display time Display um, int and I'm going to say equal to zero. It's actually going to be a float and no. I'm just going to say it like that and and reset and start stop and reset and let's say display and equals zero and I'm gonna say timer dot invalidate And I'm going to say timing button dot set title and the title will be start for state UI control state dot normal and then we are going to both or er, um plus equals 0 0.01 and I'm going to say display dot text equals string parentheses display int or a sound like that actually no not this we can actually make it much simpler by doing this and then we can try and try this for now not an iPhone 6 iPhone 5s let's see if this works So, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty funny, but we do not want these digits at the end, so I'm going to, actually, I'm going to clean this and paste this right here. And then, we are we can actually what you can do is display I'm going to create a variable called subtracted subtracted time
and I'm going to set it equal to um display int minus or display int dot um dot the last few digits you can put display int um minus the last few digits actually so we can just load this again this time the reset should work reset button should work. Reset. Set. Stop. And then it gives you an exact time, which is pretty cool actually. So you can just keep on doing it. I find it pretty funny. And so I'm just gonna stop it. So guys, thank you guys for watching and I hope you see you in my other videos. Bye bye.